Okay then, so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is, now that we've learned how to hash a password, we're gonna go ahead and hash a password, store it as if we were storing it in our database, and then we'll go ahead and use the password verify function to check that the password supplied is correct. So we'll basically go back to the example we looked at in the first video, and we'll basically recreate this, but with the password hash and the password verify functions as part of the password hashing API. So the first thing we wanna do is basically create a hash as we learned in the last video. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then we'll sort of fake store it in a variable and we'll check that against the supply password. So I'm gonna go ahead and echo out password hash and we'll go ahead and choose a password. We'll just call this password. And we'll go ahead and provide a password bcrypt algorithm. And I'm gonna go ahead and provide some options here, one option specifically, and that's the cost. My hardware can handle around about 12 without seeing a bad uh, page load. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and just echo that out onto the page. You can see that we get the hash here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna go ahead and store it inside of a variable here as if it was a stored password in the database. So let's just imagine that you have allowed a user to register on your website you would go ahead and you'd store this inside a password field in your database table. So now what we now want to do is go ahead and create a little if statement with an else. And this is basically going to check that a password that we provide is acceptable. So all we need to do here is we don't need to have rehash anything. We can use the password verify function and this will return a true or a false value whether or not that password matches. So it's fairly straightforward. All we need to do is say password, uh, password verify. So we provide two arguments here. Uh, the first one is the password, the sort of plain text password, and then it's the hashed password. So let's go ahead and compare something else. Now my, my stored password is password, very, very insecure, but as an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and provide ABC as the password. So now we just basically compare this with the stored password. So this is gonna do all the work for you. It's gonna take the salt and the cost and it's gonna you know, rehash what you provide here and then compare it to the hashed value. So here we would say you're in, else we would say try again. So in this case, what do you think we're going to get? Well, we're going to get this output because ABC does not basically uh, equal the hash password here. So let's go ahead and refresh and it says try again, obviously. So notice that we also get a, a slightly slower loading page here because I've used a hashing cost of 12. So bear that in mind when you are doing this. You might think to yourself, well, when I generate a hash, I don't mind a user waiting, say, a few seconds for the server to uh, process the hash or hash the password. However, when you go ahead and sign in or verify the password, it's gonna be exactly the same deal. So let's go ahead and provide the correct password and see that this works and we'll just get the output you're in. And there we go, so it works. So this is extremely straightforward and that's one of the benefits of using the password hashing API uh, with PHP is that everything is provided for you in a really, really secure way. So the only real two functions that you absolutely need to go ahead and generate a hash and verify a hash is password hash and password verify. And we've looked at verifying a password in this way doing this, uh, pulling this from your database, or in this case, it's just a variable up here to demonstrate the uh, password that the user provides, and that's it. Everything is securely verified for us, and we know whether we can let the user sign in or not.